We're doing some hole finding here on this leading edge. Uh, the drawing calls for three um, 426s in between these holes. And then when you get out past station 57, uh, you get, we'd be able to get two in between each one. And this is where the uh, nut plate's going to go on the bottom. There side are some here. idiosyncrasies in the drawings. When you get down here near the attach point, this line is not going to be the same as it is between these because you can see that the spar channel comes in here. And then there are also some rivets that are unseen. And so all you can do is get one in between these last two. <clears throat> this is on a 170. And uh, so just pay attention to that and I'll show you those rivets. See, there are existing rivets, so you're only going to be able to get one in between these guys right here. Once you have your, uh, your strip, your part number 12331-9 installed or clamped in place, and you have all of your holes uh, cleaned, and then you have your new rivet holes, uh, you've got them marked, you can start drilling that, get that all, um, get that fit up, and then take it apart and uh, decrumb it all before you uh, actually install it. Then you can take that, that plate off and install your nut plate. So once you uh, have your your plate back drilled, then you need to find all the holes for your nut plates. And the best way to do that is just hold your nut plate in place with the Clico and then back drill it. And once you get all that done, then you can countersink it and shoot all those nut plates on there. When you're countersinking them, uh, you can do it freehand or you can use a stop. I got a little countersink on the end of a call it a suicide. Just take and take your rivet and check it a little bit quicker than messing around with the stop. Sometimes the stops are not all that accurate. Perfect. And once you've found all your holes uh, and you've got your nut plates riveted on, you've got your part ready to install on the wing. Now we're getting ready to install the nut plate strip that we've made. The quickest way to find these holes uh, for your nut plates on your stringers is just use the existing stringer after taking nut plates off <clears throat> and locate it. Make sure that you've got it exactly over the top of your string on the bottom side and, and then you can drill your holes and, and install your nut plates. You got to take your solid rib station 57, take your tank straps and uh, put them on the other side. Of course, these ribs get flopped. Uh, your right hand goes to your left hand wing, your left hand goes to your right hand wing, and you need to take these strips and put them on the other side. And uh, if there are tank vent holes, you need to clamp your ribs together and drill those. Uh, fortunately, on this particular aircraft, we don't have those to worry about. They're, the tanks are vented in another manner.
Now you remember that rib that we shortened earlier. Um, in the process of installing the intercostal, you've got to attach an angle to that, and uh, to uh, which actually sets the intercostal. And uh, these brackets in here that your pulleys are attached to are not going to re are not going to connect to the intercostal. They just they just they're shy a little bit, and so much so that the they're just uh, actually not helping anything at this point. They used to be attached to the stringers. Um, stringer's now gone. So anyway, there we are, a modified rib, and we'll put that in there and start working on our intercostal. Now here I've installed the the uh, the angle that comes with the kit that connects the the, the remaining hat section uh, connects that to the the rib that they give you here at the end of the box, and you can see that's that angle right there. It's just right in there. And then this is the old piece of aluminum that was cut off the old strap. That went all the way up. Cut off at 7 inches like the uh, next rib. And when you lay out your uh, nut plate configuration on your new intercostal, just pick up the, the spacing uh, that is, is already on the, on the rear spar there. Just use that same spacing here. I know it doesn't call that out in the drawings. And then here are the two holes that used to be in the old, old configuration. You can use those and then just lay your spacing out here. And of course this skin gets attached to that intercostal with 426's and, the, and then the uh, bottom will use 470's. Well, as you can see, we're getting down to the uh, the, the final uh, the final aspects of this installation on this left-hand wing, and I thought I would finish out this video segment and uh, then do one more with the installation of the tank itself. But right now, we're pretty much ready to go. We just got a couple more holes to fill where the old rib used to go up into here. You can actually access that through this lightning hole and then through a rib. You can get a bucking bar in there. So you don't. I've actually not had to use any uh, any Cherry Max rivets yet. Um, was able to get everything shot with uh, with the the rivets that are standard in this wing, and um, it's looking good. Really enjoying putting this together. It's going to be a. And I, as I was looking at this, I, I realized that this wing, the way that this is designed, is actually probably stronger now than it was with the old tank. Uh, especially with the addition of all these extra rivets in between the uh, nut plates on here in the leading edge, which is transferring the strength of the skin, the spar, spar to the skin. That's a good deal. And then the, the new intercostal stub rib, the other rib that was shortened. Um, you, a couple old holes for the nut plates. So you can take those nut plates off the old rib. You don't need these two down here. And uh, transfer those over to the stub rib. Secure the skin to the intercostal. Get your nut plates all found on the back side of that. Get your new hat section shot on and fill in some of the other holes that used to be stringers and, uh, and rib holes. And then uh, we'll flatten this puppy out and start putting the tank in.